It was a year ago that I first talked to you about the On The Way process and our shared journey towards fruitfulness and sustainability. Now, a year on, I want to update you on how things are going. But before that, I want to say thank you. The last few years have been difficult in all kinds of ways. And I know that life within and beyond our church communities remains challenging. While there are all kinds of opportunities to grow the church, I know also that the changes we face are complex and demanding, and that some of the decisions we are having to make together are really hard. I'm so grateful to all of you for your faithfulness as we navigate this time of change together. The last time I talked like this, I spoke about the Exodus story and how it might help us understand the situation we're in and it's still helpful for us today. Although we long to return to the normal that we knew before the pandemic, the truth is that there is no simple return. Like Moses and his people setting out into the desert, we're heading into an unknown future, confident only that God is going before us and that he will provide us with all we need. Even now, with the vaccines rolled out and restrictions being lifted, we know that things aren't back to normal. The world has changed forever in ways we can already see and in ways that we are yet to discover. And on the way is how we are responding. On the way offers us all the chance to discern together how we can be fruitful and sustainable into the future. It invites, it invites us all to discern what we need to carry on doing, what we need to stop doing, and what we need to do differently as we continue with our core calling of building fruitful and sustainable Christ-like communities that love God and love their neighbors. And because every place is different, the plans are being dreamed and prayed into being locally, in each deanery. And we are seeing the fruits of those conversations around the diocese as deanery plans begin to emerge. I'm very aware that this can be difficult. Change is hard and letting go of things, especially things that we love, is sometimes painful. And of course, there are times when we don't agree about what needs to start and what needs to stop. And that can bring anxiety, tension, and conflict. At the moment, as On The Way unfolds in all 12 of our deaneries, we're on a journey. And like the Israelites in the desert, we're not clear yet where we will end up. But the promised land remains local church communities of different sizes, traditions, and kinds that are fruitful and sustainable. And part of this transition involves refocusing our finances. At the moment, our reserves are needed to cover the very large annual diocesan deficit. But our aim is to get the finances back into balance, with MMF covering the core cost of local ministry, so we can redirect our reserves towards the projects, dreams and prayers that are emerging from on the way towards patterns of ministry and mission that can be fruitful and sustainable for the next 10 years or more. And those plans are starting to emerge. Plans to put chaplains into school, to work even more closely with the poorest communities in Cornwall, to make better use of our buildings and to connect with people and groups who we have no contact with. As long as we can make those difficult choices about what is to stop, we're ready to invest in those plans, using our reserves to make them a reality rather than using them to fill a deficit. The desert is a hard place to be and traveling when you can't see your destination is demanding. 
but we are on track. We know that it is fruitful and sustainable communities that we are called to grow. And our God is faithful. He goes with us and he is providing everything we need. And we will get there. We will get there because our God is good and our God is faithful. And thank you too for your faithfulness in a demanding time. Thank you for all you are and for all you do. As we keep our eyes on the fruitful and sustainable future that lies ahead, as we fix our eyes on our God, let me pray for you now. Please pray with me. Our good and loving God, we thank you and we praise you that you are good and you are true and you are faithful. We know that you want the best for your world and we know that you want your church to be the best that it can be for your world, an instrument of your tender loving care for all creation. So go on, we pray, by your Spirit, working within us to change us and to make us more and more the church that you call us to be. We ask this in your name, for your glory and for the coming of your kingdom. Amen. <laughs>